Good day, I'm Stephen McHugh and this is your JIS News for Friday, September 17, 2021. Government is providing $3 billion in financial support to medium, small and micro enterprises, MSMEs, to assist with economic recovery from COVID-19. The MSMEs will receive loans and grant support through the Development Bank of Jamaica, DBJ, SERVE program, which was launched on Wednesday in partnership with the Ministry of Finance. Entities will access funds through three instruments, the DBJ MSME Recovery Loan with a pool of $2 billion, the $1 billion DBJ Go Digital Loan Scheme, and the Go Digital Voucher, which is a grant of $300,000. The DBJ Serve Jamaica product portfolio meets the crisis that MSMEs face today. We are, by virtue of this portfolio of products, encouraging and we are proselytizing to MSMEs and saying to them, here's an opportunity to take your business and to give it, uh, to digitalize the business and therefore make it more accessible to customers in a way that does not require physical interaction. Under the DBJ MSME recovery loan, businesses will be able to borrow up to $10 million at 5% interest rate over eight years to expand or refinance high debt. Through the DBJ Go Digital loan, MSMEs will be able to access up to $800,000 to purchase hard and software along with other technology devices that will facilitate the digitalization of their businesses. The $300,000 grant being provided under the Go Digital voucher is for micro and small businesses to access services for technical assistance in areas such as electronic payroll, HR applications and electronic marketing. We at the DBJ are using this opportunity to stimulate a sustainable private sector-led business-to-business market for digitization, services, and financing that will outlive the DBJ SERV program. Take-up of the offer continues until March 2022, and funding will be distributed through various financial institutions that are registered with the DBJ. Twelve judges were sworn in on Wednesday by the Governor-General to mark the Mikkel Mass term, which is the final term of the legal year. They include one judge of appeal, three acting judges of appeal, four puny judges, two acting puny judges, one master in chambers, and one acting master in chambers. Governor-General Sir Patrick Allen thanked the judges for serving the nation and encouraged their continued support. Chief Justice Brian Sykes remarked that a number of judges sworn in last year are being sworn in again because of their consistency in improving the performance across the courts. The confidence reposed in them was not misplaced. And all the judges here and the masters who have been confirmed and who have been appointed to act in higher positions have demonstrated over the past year their zeal and commitment to service to the Constitution of Jamaica and to the people of Jamaica. Well over 73,000 children aged 12 to 18 have so far been vaccinated against COVID-19. Minister of Education, Youth and Information Fable Williams gave that update in a statement to the House of Representatives on Wednesday. Pointing out that there is no vaccine available for children below age 12, the minister says it's vital that school administrators and support staff, as well as parents, also get vaccinated to protect the youngsters. We as adults have a collective responsibility to ourselves and our children to not only steadfastly continue to adhere to the COVID-19 protocols, but to also make that important decision to get the added layer of protection afforded from being vaccinated. The Ministries of Education, Technology and Economic Growth and Job Creation are partnering to develop an affordable and robust approach to providing adequate internet connectivity to all public schools. This was revealed by Education Minister Fable Williams during Wednesday's sitting of Parliament. We have started the onboarding of 360 schools that are located in close proximity to the government's fiber infrastructure. This process is expected to be completed by the end of September 2021. For the remaining 661 schools that are not in close proximity to the government's fiber infrastructure, we're far advanced with a national procurement of internet supply for our schools. The 2021-2022 academic year started on September 6, with lessons being delivered online via printed learning kits and through audiovisual platforms. 
60 tablets valued at $1.2 million have been donated to two primary schools in St. James and St. Andrew by the Jamaica Customs Agency. Farm Primary and Infant in Green Pond and Edward Siaga Primary in Denham Town have both received 30 tablets each. The devices were purchased from personal donations by the agency's employees according to specifications given by the Ministry of Education. Chairman of the Jamaica Customs Agency's Corporate Social Responsibility Committee, Tamika Goldburn, says it represents a big part of the agency's objective to meet the needs of specific vulnerable groups such as children. And finally, young Jamaicans aged 13 to 17 years old are being encouraged to enter the annual Jamaica Customer Service Song Competition. The deadline to submit entries for the competition is next Tuesday, September 21. The competition, which targets young people from primary and secondary schools across the island, is a joint venture of the Jamaica Cultural Development Commission and the Jamaica Customer Service Association. This is the fourth staging of the competition, which is a highlight of National Customer Service Week 2021 being observed from October 3 to 8. It shares the observation's theme, You, Me, We Got the Power of Service Excellence. Persons who are interested in entering the competition can submit a video performance of an original song reflecting the theme to music at jcdc.gov.jm. They can also visit the JCDC's website, www.jcdc.gov.jm, for more information. And that's it for JIS News Today. I'm Stephen McHugh. Thanks for watching. <music>